Let's take a look at Matthew C pre-algebra and I'd like to do a flip through for you and also show you how a lesson might go for the week. So first of all you will need the DVDs. There are two of them for pre-algebra. You'll need your test booklet, your student text, and your instruction manual as well as a set of the Matthew C blocks. Now we have been using the Matthew C Zeta this school year and we actually haven't used these blocks once, so I'm not sure how much a student will actually need the blocks for pre-algebra, but they do recommend having them. So let's first look at the instruction manual. So the student is going to be watching the lesson on the DVD, but it is nice to have the instruction manual because that lesson is also explained here in the instruction manual with examples. So my daughter usually watches the DVD and understands it from the DVD, but occasionally if there's anything that she has some trouble with, I will look in, in here and see um, what she has learned and it really helps me know what she's been watching on the DVD and helps me to help her better. So I really like these for when I need them. It also has the answer key in the back for all of the worksheets and also for the tests. And it also has in the front some information about um, how the Matthew C website has fax practice on there, also a worksheet generator, and um, some online support. So if you'd like to know what is covered in this book, there are 30 lessons and these are the 30 topics that are covered. If you'd like to pause and take a look at that. Um, negative numbers, distributive property, Pythagorean theorem. It looks like we have some military time down here and transforming Celsius to Fahrenheit, solve for an unknown. So those are the kinds of things in here. So let me show you this student text. And we'll go over um, what, how many worksheets there are per lesson. So the student will watch the DVD and then there are, um, I believe, seven worksheets. So we have, they're labeled A, B, C, D, E, F. Now in the previous book, Zeta, that we have been using, the next one was called G, but now they are calling it H because they're calling the extra um, part of the lesson the honors lesson. So these are extras if you're interested in um, additional math concepts. So when I first started using Matthew C, I was confused about the worksheets and how many were you supposed to do and I realized that you're, you're supposed to use however many you would like. So if you need more, you do all of them. If you need less, you just do a few of them. So you use them as the student needs. So worksheets A, B, and C um, have problems on these worksheets from the lesson, the, the brand new concept. And that is all that is on A, B, and C, just the new concept. So D, E, and F are called systematic review, and these ones review previous concepts learned from um, previous Matthew C books or else previous concepts from the current book that you're in. So I consider D, E, and F very important um, worksheets, and we always make sure we do all three of these, even if we don't do all of the A, B, and C. So in the D, E, and F systematic review pages, there's usually a quick review from a previous book. So that is a good um, reminder of how to do um, something that they have learned before. So I'm going to just flip through here. You can get an idea of what is in here. I like that Matthew C is a mastery approach so that the student has time to really learn the concept before moving on. So we haven't used this one yet. We're finishing up Zeta right now. We only have about one lesson left in there, and then we will be starting this very soon. And I can give you guys an update on how that goes when we get a little bit into the book. 
So that is what this looks like. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.